Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to create an actionable to upload your documents directly to, uh, to SharePoint after it's been generated. Okay, we're gonna, uh, I have my docconfig here and on this uh, docconfig I actually want to say that when it's generated, upload it to, uh, to, uh, to SharePoint. Now there are two options. You can actually uh, upload it directly from the docconfig, so an actionable on the docconfig. But this would mean every time you generate a docconfig, it would upload it to SharePoint automatically, which means that you cannot create any previews. So that's why it's maybe easier that you go via a pack. So let's create a new PDF Butter pack. Let's say uh, upload to SharePoint. Uh, the docconfig is the, uh, yeah, this is just a document that I'm now going to select. So that's my document. And now I'm going to create an actionable on it. The actionable is going to be called upload to SharePoint. So if you have collaboration Butler installed, you will have this uh, action, uh, this uh, record type here. So now it's there and it's going to be going to call this act upload to SharePoint. Now the docconfig, uh, I don't want to link it to a docconfig. It's going to be linked to a pack. It's going to be active. The class that we need, I'm just going to, to copy paste it from uh, here, but you will find on our academy what's the name of the class. I will also make sure it's on the, uh, uh, the comments of the video. Uh, so you don't have to copy it from the video and make typos. Now, um, we need, uh, what we're going to do is make the link to the library actually dynamic. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to copy this part of uh, the browser. See, I copy everything. It's the site that I copy and it's the, um, the document library that I copy. So the document library is called contracts test. Okay, copy it. So I'm going to go back to my actionable, paste it here. Uh, the percent 20 means that there is a space in your um, um, in your name. I'm going to remove the con uh, percent 20 and just going to put in the space. Then the path to the directory, uh, I want that dynamic. So what I need is YouTube, customers, and then the name of the customer. So the name of the account. So I'm going to say it's uh, YouTube. Okay, let's copy paste to make sure I don't make any uh, typos. So you see already it's YouTube with an uppercase T. So uh, that would be a typo. Oh, YouTube slash customers slash, and then I'm going to put in a merge field. So a merge field, it has to be the name uh, or the uh, yeah the API name of the field uh, from the object that I need to uh, to put in here. So this is going to be the name of my account. So I'm just going to put in name. Now, how does it know which name to use? Which where does the data come from? That's uh, indicated by this ob master object data source. And I've created a data source, and I will show you that one. Um, that will actually select the account data. So this one will select the name eh, uh, from the account, eh, will select the name. And so this is the API name here that I can put into my, uh, as, a, as a merge field into my uh, path. If you wanna have merge fields here as well, that's not a problem. You can also put merge fields right here and link those to uh, uh, fields from your master object data source. So my master object data source is going to be account in this case. Everything is set up. So I know which uh, SharePoint library to connect to. I know uh, what's the path in this library. So the folder structure in this library to connect to. And I know dynamically which is the folder uh, linked to my record. It's the name of my, uh, account, the name of, my account. Um, of course, if you want to have multiple uh, merge fields here, not a problem. Everything is uh, possible. So let's save this. My pack is ready. Now, if I copy the ID of the pack and I go to uh, the, the uh, page overview here, I'm going to drag and drop a PDF Butter components on it. 
and I'm just going to say, well, I uh, don't want to preview it, don't want to download it. The pack has, uh, I'm going to put the pack here and I'm going to be called upload to share point. Okay, so that's everything. I don't have to do anything else. This is the entire config that I need. Very important when you do this is that your uh, doc config that you're going to link to is set to delivery type base64. This means it will not try to store it in Salesforce. If it tries to store it in Salesforce, it cannot store it in SharePoint because it's a call out to SharePoint. So make sure this is base64 and then you can store it in uh, SharePoint. Now, everything is done. The only thing left to do is test it. So I'm going to click the back button here. And then I should uh, be able to see collaboration butler here. Perfect. So uh, that's uh, linked to my Cloud Crossing BVBA um, SharePoint library. There should be one right here. So that's this one. OK, now we can check if there is a file entering in that uh, library when I click the this button. So now it will generate the document and then it will upload it to SharePoint. See, it's already done. So let's take a look. We can refresh here. And indeed, my document is now being saved automatically to SharePoint.